So today we're going to be replacing the diaphragm and gasket from the carburetor in a mower. So before you do any work to your mower, you need to make sure that you've disconnected the spark plug lead or you've removed the spark plug. That is vital when working on these small engines. This is the part number 795083 for the diaphragm and gasket. There's two in there. One is the diaphragm, one's the gasket. So you don't have to buy them individually because you get them together. And they're usually around 250 in the UK. First of all, what you're going to need to do is remove the air filter from the top. And that is just a flathead screwdriver and that will lift off. and then make sure you put that somewhere safe so you can't lose it. So then you need to remove this bolt in here and there's this one around the front as well which needs to be removed. So once you've removed both the bolts, you can then gently remove the fuel tank and you'll see that there is a linkage which runs to the butterfly in the carburetor and this just needs removing. So to do that, just twist the tank and it will come out like that. Okay, so now we've got the fuel tank off, you can now remove the screws which run around the carburetor. So just slacken each one off a bit. Probably not a good idea to go around in a circle because you might crack the carburetor. Um, and then just, when you've slackened every single one off, just go around then and remove all the screws completely. And then the carburetor just lifts off the fuel tank like that. And then underneath there is the gasket and diaphragm. Just make sure you take all your screws out, otherwise you might lose them and keep them somewhere safe. And you can see under here that there is the diaphragm and then behind that there's the gasket. So that would just peel off, as you can see. And then the other side, they're actually stuck together, but the other side of there is the gasket. So you can then remove the gasket and diaphragm so you just peel that off and then underneath you need to inspect for any damage now, I don't know how well you can see this but in there you can see there's some dirt probably some soil or something and also by the looks of it it's got water in it and that would explain why this engine wasn't running properly so what I'm going to do is just clean all this out and if you've got the same problem make sure it's all clean spotless um, and then we can then reinstall the new diaphragm and gasket Put it all back together again, put it on the mower and then we can test it and see if it's working. It should be because I, I can't see any other problems with it and this is a likely cause of it not working properly. So I'm just going to clean this out. Okay, so once it's all clean then you can put your diaphragm and gasket on. So remember which order to put these on. It's diaphragm first, so you need to lay that on. And it can be quite tricky to line up the holes. And then, after the diaphragm, you put the gasket on. Still making sure that all the lines, all the holes are lined up. Okay, so, that's the diaphragm and gasket on. You can see I've cleaned the underneath of the carburetor. I don't know how well you can see that. Might be a bit out of focus. But it's all clean in there. Um, so now, you just need to make sure it's all lined up. Okay, so that's everything lined up. Now all we have to do is put the screws back in. So the same as when you're removing it, just put one in at a time, and then screw it up a bit, but do not tighten that. You just need to put each one in loosely, 
and then you can work round and then when you've put them all in you can then tighten them up. So there it is, the gasket and diaphragm is now installed and I've put the carburetor back onto the fuel tank and now this is ready to go back onto the engine. Okay, so remember to put the linkage back in and just slots in and then the breather pipe goes onto here, make sure that's in place and also the carburetor goes into that pipe there and you may need a bit of grease for that. So. Now it's all in place we can then put the two bolts back in and then we can put the air filter back on. So just put each bolt in finger tight for a start and then you can tighten them both up. And also make sure you've actually got it in the thread because if you don't you'll strip the thread and because it's going to aluminium it will take all the threading out of that aluminium case and it will mean either re-tapping it or you will have to buy a whole new case finally you can then put the air filter back on and make sure you put this on the right way around because it's a common mistake to put the V shape at the front and to be honest I've never understood why so many people have done that but the correct way is to have it this way around with the flat at the front. So once you're done you can reattach the spark plug and start it up and give it a go. Remember not to start it on top of anything, for example your spanners or anything, anything you've been using um, because it will fling it out so just make sure you test it somewhere which it's not going to hit anything, um, preferably on the grass but I'm just going to start it up here. And you can see that's running smoothly and it's not pulsating anymore. Um, so that luckily has fixed the problem and hopefully that's also fixed the problem with your mower as well.